Hello everyone and thank you for joining me. Today I am trying something a little bit different. As mentioned before, I am trying to experiment with a few things where I hope I can switch mostly towards uh, the drawing part rather than the presenting part. I, uh, I still gonna present the fountain pen and talk about the fountain pen, especially if it's something that I haven't used before. But I'm hoping to reduce the time it takes to talk about and focus more on the drawing. Hopefully that will also bring down the video length. So, for today I have a very interesting fountain pen that comes from Key Unity. This was actually a gift for my birthday from my family. So I don't actually have an idea on how much they pay for it, but I can tell you for sure that they did get it from Amazon. A very interesting fountain pen. It came in a nice plastic case without any padding inside of it, but they did include the pen, their product brochure, a business card, a sticker, and together with two o-ring replacements. A very nice touch. Based on their brochure, I don't think uh, fountain pens is their main thing. They are more into making things like tactical EDC keychains, chain rings and so on. Uh, in their brochure there was not even one fountain pen. There is no secret that I like and prefer titanium fountain pens and this one is actually quite a nice fountain pen. I was planning to flame anodize the pen but somehow I never really got around to it. I think I'm going to keep this one as is. Also, at the top of the bottle, we have something like a half sphere of a different material that I don't know what it is and I don't know how it will react with uh, fire or electricity, so I will not take any chances. The cap is well built from one piece and the metal clip is held into place with a nice screw. There is a TI logo like on the clip and everything seems to be put together quite nicely. The clip does bend ever so slightly, but uh, not too much. You could probably get it inside a shirt, but not over a thick lip like a, a pen case, for example. Removing the cap uh, will reveal a really nice gold light nib, a short hourglass shaped section and some nice smooth chunky threads and the only o-ring that we have on the pen. The nib it comes with is a number 5 Schmidt nib and it is removable. As I have mentioned many times before, these are some nibs that I really like and enjoy using and this one doesn't seem to disappoint either. Removing the barrel will reveal some nice finer threads on the section where the barrel connects to and uh, an included large converter branded Schmidt. Works nice and smooth and had no issues with it. No color support on the section for the converter though. Overall a good balancing hand for the fountain pen but it does not post. I'm still trying to figure out how uh, I'm going to do the balancing act. So uh, no example on that for now. For today I decided to use the uh, Iro Shizuku Takesumi since I did not have a chance to use it last time uh, with the uh, Pentel fountain pen. And it seems to be quite a nice combo for the fountain pen. No issues during the writing sample, excellent flow of on the nib on both sides, slightly grabby but just enough to feel that pen is touching the paper. Nib seems to be just as I like it. Today's drawing was very simple and fairly short. It took me about 30 minutes to complete or something like that. Didn't have any inspiration for anything. Brain has been uh, drawing a blank, um, even after the break uh, that I had. So I kind of defaulted back to drawing some abstract uh, plant with no actual point of reference. I kind of like it, but it feels like something is missing. At the same time, it felt that if I kept uh, on going uh, at it, I might overwork it again. So uh, I uh, I stopped for now. Maybe I'll get back to it later. I'm not sure. 
By the way, another thing that I was thinking of, uh, maybe rather than having time lapses, if I do short drawings like that, I should show the entire process without splitting it up. What do you think of it? And maybe next time I should go back to my pictures. I haven't done a drawing using inspirations from uh, my photos for a while. Speaking of, I haven't been taking pictures for a while now and I kind of miss it. It just feels like there is not enough time to do much. I have too many hobbies, maybe? As for the fountain pen, I really enjoyed it. One thing that I uh, maybe would have liked, maybe just a little bit of extra length in that battle. For writing feels just right for me, but for drawing, especially this kind of loose scribbles, something slightly longer would be better so I can pick it up from higher up. I don't think I would have liked to post it though, because of the metal gap. Uh, that would have made uh, the pen a little bit top heavy and I would probably would have not enjoyed that. But a longer barrel definitely would have been welcome. What do I like about the Key Unity fountain pen? To put it simple, I like it. I don't really have any complaints about it. It's well built, good quality finish and there is attention to detail, well, at least on the copy that I have. A beautiful number 5 nib comes with a converter and it is made out of my favorite material, titanium. The pen feels very well in hand and even if I can't post it, the balance is pretty good and it's long enough for what I need and uh, my hand size. As for dislikes, I don't really have any dislikes to be honest, but there may be, might be some shortcomings that some people might not like. One thing that I can see is the clip on the cap is not very flexible as mentioned and it can't accommodate thicker pockets or pen cases. Still better than most titanium fondant pens that I have to be honest. The other shortcoming maybe is the fact that the fondant pen cannot be posted, but then again, as mentioned, maybe not a good thing since the weight of the metal will back with the pen heavily. Overall, I do like the fountain pen and I did enjoy it immensely. Definitely on the top 5 of my favorite fountain pens from the collection that I have. With the pen aside, what do you think of the snow format? Do you think it's better? Worse? Would you like to see any uh, different panning angles? And if yes, what? Also, do you want me to talk about other things as the time lapse is running? What subjects would you prefer? I don't know if I want to do a podcast. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm good for that. After all, English is not really my first language, so I might have some issues uh, uh, speaking some words of uh, pronouncing uh, some words. Fair warning, though. Uh, I'm not considering myself a very knowledgeable person or up to date with things, so it's hard for me to just talk without a subject. As a matter of fact, personally I'm more of an introvert person. I don't talk as much as you might think or socialize that much. That is one of the reasons why I started to make these videos. To uh, force myself and put myself out there and talk, talk, <laughs> talk. After what, almost two years of doing this, um, I'm just lightly starting to get comfortable talking by myself with a microphone. Anyway, um, as I was saying, it's much easier if I have a, a subject to approach and then I can definitely talk about it and uh, offer at least an opinion on it. Or at least will um, force me uh, to go into some research about it and try it out if I can and have the opportunity. So, what would you like me to talk about? Just please keep in mind, keep it family friendly and uh, no politics or religion, please. Not that I have any issue discussing about it, it's just that no matter how sensible you are approaching any one of these subjects, it seems like it's impossible to not offend anyone or someone. The world lately and people nowadays seems um, 
to be way more sensitive uh, to pretty much anything. And uh, anyway, that's another wrap. Enjoy the rest of the time lapse if there's anything left. And uh, if you have any other questions, please leave a comment below and I will try and get to it as soon as I can. Thank you for joining me today. Hope I'll see you next time. And I wish you all the best and a wonderful day or night, wherever you are. Take care. Bye.